Now we're sighting in on the stories behind some of the most accurate and affordable replacement barrels in the world. We're taking you to the Basque region of Spain for an exclusive never before seen on TV. This is Shooting USA, reporting the stories of America's shooting sports. Our Sighting In series takes you inside places you can't go to report the stories behind the products in your local gun store. Well, this time, the story is accuracy. Improving rifle and black powder accuracy with Begara replacement barrels. But the story begins not with barrel making, but with the Spanish stainless steel never seen before on American television. In the north of Spain, the Basque region, there is a centuries old tradition of fine steel. Steel that was once produced for the finest Spanish swords, drawn from the extensive iron resources of the surrounding hills. The tradition became an economic asset to the Spanish government once the Industrial Revolution of the 19th century occurred. And this tradition continues into the modern era. Which brings us to the Olara Steel Manufacturing Facility, the foremost producer of long product stainless steel in Europe. Ferrous chromium and ferrous silica are combined in very precise amounts with raw steel to create all grades of stainless steel. The process here is on the leading edge of the technology and is only performed at two other factories in all of Europe. Once the superheated electrodes have done their work inside the crucible, the molten steel mixture is tested to ensure the levels of each compound are correct. Then the molten steel is poured into the vertical extruder to begin the horizontal casting process. Pedro Madrid is the quality control manager. To obtain the starting billet, we use the horizontal continuous casting process we obtain a billet of 145 millimeters. After that, we heat again the material and we hot roll our bars in different sizes and profiles. Once cut away from the extruding ram, the two square billets will be 8.4 meters long and will weigh more than two tons each. With the bars heated red hot, they begin the rolling process. All the way down the line of machines, the bar is heated and stretched over tighter and tighter rollers, and it gets longer and thinner until it reaches the cooling conveyor. What started at 145 millimeters, or five and three quarter inches square, and almost eight and a half meters in length, is now two and a half inches round and 60 meters long. Next for the steel bars is the peeling process that reduces the bar diameter from two and a half inches to just under an inch. Then on to the straightening machine for minor corrections. Then finally into a bundle to be delivered to the customer. And in this case, the customer is a precision barrel manufacturer. Vergara Barrels makes its home in the Basque region of Spain as well, in the city that lends its name to the company below the church tower that lends its image to the company's logo. The raw material from the Alara steel mill is the best in the world and the only choice for Vergara to start their process. A process that was developed with the help of a famous American barrel maker. When we decided to start with the center fires, we found out that, uh, that uh, we really didn't know how to do it uh, in a good way. So we, we found Ed Schillen in, uh, the, in the United States from Schillen Barrels. So we make an, uh, a consultant agreement with him, I would say. So he really taught us how to make a barrel. He taught us all the secrets because otherwise it would have been impossible for us to make the barrels. It is this guidance that helped Vergara develop their precision processes, with the first step 
checking the bar stock. We receive the bar stock from the steel supplier and the first step of the process is to straighten the bars. Normally they are very straight, but uh, just in case we check uh, all of them to see the, to, to, to be sure that uh, they are completely straight. Next, it's deep hole drilling. The calibers can range from 22 all the way to 50 cal, and the tolerances are extremely tight, just 30 microns of a millimeter. This precision is critical to every step that follows. Once the bar stock is drilled, then it moves to the vertical honing machine, where the bores are treated to three stages of polishing to achieve a mirror finish. We get, uh, I would say, a mirror finish in the inside of the barrel with a very, very, very nice uh, and, uh, and a smooth surface inside. And the tolerance in this operation is uh, around two microns of millimeter. Two microns is two thousandths of a millimeter, invisible to the human eye. For perspective, the thickness of the average human hair is 60 microns. Finally, it is button rifling with a carbide button. The powerful motor turns the shaft as the ram pulls the button through the blank. This process is the same for a muzzle loader or a center fire blank. The chemical makeup of the lubricant used in the rifling process is a closely guarded secret, as is the final step of the process, heat treatment. All Bergara barrels begin their life in this way. From this point, it is the end design that will determine what's next for the rifled blank. So now we've got high quality stainless steel barrel blanks. But coming up, the state-of-the-art machining and finishing required in making high-accuracy Bergara barrels. That's next. You're watching Shooting USA, news and information for America's gun owners. The bar stock is from a world leader in stainless steel. The rifling process was developed by one of the most respected barrel makers in the world. The machining tolerances are remarkable. And the final result is performance certified by the Spanish government proof house. All Bergara barrels are rifled using the process developed by Ed Schillen. But it is the design team at Bergara that determines what happens next for the rifled blank. During this process, we strive to improve many aspects of our client's product based on our design experience in this industry. This blank is on its way to becoming a high-accuracy AR barrel. The milling machine goes through the steps and tools to take John's design and carve it out of one of the precision rifled blanks. Over on another milling machine, another rifled blank is beginning the process of becoming a CVA muzzle loader barrel. The program controlling the mill dictates all of the steps and tool changes to create the intricate contours of the black powder barrel. Down the line, another worker loads the barrel and the locking lug into a jig that precisely aligns the two pieces before welding. Now it's off to the sandblaster. The barrels are loaded onto a rack for easier transport into the blasting cabinet. Plugs are added to protect the rifling. Then it's into the blaster for 12 minutes with 30 grit media. Next, it's a trip down the line of chemical baths in the hot bluing line. The bluing protects the steel and, of course, adds to the visual appeal. Then comes laser etching, burning the Bergara logo and made in Spain on the barrel, and sometimes other logos as well, like for us. On another machining line, Remington 700 barrels are being milled. These will be bull barrels, some without chambers or threads, blanks for a gunsmith to custom fit later on. And others will be threaded and chambered to become the integral component for the Bagara replacement barrel system for Remington 700s. 
In another part of the facility, barrels are loaded into carousels to feed the robotic arm that is constantly loading and unloading the two surface sanding machines. With a total of four grades of sanding, these are the barrel shapes that do not require the sandblaster to prep their surfaces. Once each barrel has had a turn in each machine, it gets an oil bath and then the robot places it back in the carousel for inspection. All of the barrels are subject to a quality control inspection at every point in the manufacturing process. They're selected and checked for uniformity on the multi-axis measuring table. But this is not the only inspection the Begara barrels must undergo. At the proof house of Ebar, the Spanish government imposes strict standards for every firearm or chambered barrel produced in Spain. The proofing house conducts the final testing of every firearm produced here in Spain 100%. They must pass our testing prior to their domestic sale and export. Centerfire rifles are shot with a cartridge loaded to 25% hotter than the maximum commercial cartridge. Note the warning, the red primer and cartridge base. Once the firearm has passed the proofing test, only then is the Spanish proof mark stamped on the barrel. Then it's on to packaging and into sea containers for export around the world.